Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a real quick video talking about the Heretic Knives flashlight. So this is the Hyperion flashlight from Heretic, and this is actually a really well done custom flashlight made by a knife company, and I'm impressed with it. There's some things that I would prefer be different, but that's personal preference. As an overall just thought process on this flashlight, they did an absolutely fantastic job. I have to give Heretic just huge credit for this. Um, I've heard that they're not making these anymore. I think there's like one more batch coming or something like that, and then they're done. I hope they keep making flashlights, but I hope they make them just like a slightly different design would be cool for me. But if this interests you aesthetically, I gotta say, guys, this is really, really good. Um, so you will see beam shot footage at the end of this video. It's really good. So check that out. That'll be at the end. I would have put the timestamp already at the beginning here. Just to give you specs, this is a 18350 battery flashlight. So you have this battery that came with it. Devil fire. Um, or demon fire. Not a big fan of those personally, but it kind of goes with it. Um, anyway, it's an 18350 battery. You could use any such 18350 battery you want. This has a Dr. Jones driver, the H17FX driver, which is fantastic. I love that they did that. I do think this would have went really well with the Dragon driver, but I think for... Um, I don't know, uh, more programmability and whatnot, it does make sense. I would have loved to have seen a dragon in here with red secondaries, just would have been cool. But you do get a glow gasket, and then it looks like they, yep, they have a uh, 10507 clear narrow Carclo optic in here. Basically what that means is you're gonna get uh, a narrow sort of hotspot for a triple. It's not gonna be like a throwy light, but for a triple emitter, it is relatively on the throwy side. And yeah, it's really good. It reminds me of my uh, TIE 2 Designs Pele because it's kind of set down a little bit because of this crazy crenulated bezel. And that gives it a really narrow um, beam. It's really well done, honestly. Uh, unfortunately, the box does not tell you what the emitters are. My guess is LH351D5K or 219C5K, one of the two there. Um, and I don't know if they did their own work on the uh, electronics in here, uh, the emitter and everything and installing it. They might have, you know, subbed that out to somebody. I'm sure it was in the U.S., to mount everything on their pill and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this very well could have gone to Charles at CWF and he might have done it, in which case it's definitely 219C5K. Um, and that's what it looks like to me. So just my thoughts there. Size-wise, here is my carry today. This is a, a custom Hanko flashlight. This is a glass Zerk uh, trident in full reactor pattern. Fucking cool. Anyway, uh, you can see it is quite a bit shorter than the Hyperion. And this is a pretty short 18350. I mean, it's average to short. Um, there's definitely a lot of bigger ones and there's some smaller ones as well, but not a ton. It's also a little beefier than the Hanko, especially up in the head here. And that is where my personal preference comes in. I just do not like this giant head on here. I feel like it makes it thicker and all that kind of stuff. But I will say it does help with heat dissipation because I had this puppy on turbo for a minute and um, it just wasn't cooking because it's got such a thick titanium head here. It's going to heat up. It's just not going to heat up as fast as some other lights would. So that's cool. Uh, but it's just kind of too big for me. It adds weight, all that kind of stuff. So if they kind of slimmed it down and just took the same design, seriously, same design and just took this shape 
and thickness and put it up here, I might actually pick one of these up. That's how much I like this thing. I think they're around 450 bucks. Um, you obviously have titanium. I think that central part is also tie, but it's um, DLC where this is some kind of, it's black wash and that's left without the wash. I don't know, but that could be aluminum. Could be aluminum there in the center. Um, the threads are good. They're just, there's so many of them. Uh, that's one thing I love about the newer Hankos is they just come right off. It's like one, one and a half twists and it's off because it's a tri-start thread. This is like single start and it just, you got to unscrew it forever to get it off. But, you know, that's just whatever. So you have the crenulation on the front here and on the back here. You have a McClicky switch, which to me, uh, I don't see an O-ring. You can't see how to get down in there. So I'm pretty sure you just remove the clip and then hold it tight and you can unscrew the back here. Um, and then this part will come off. So essentially this piece in the middle is a tube. It's just a tube and then these two pieces get tightened onto it. Um, so it's possible that this is actually aluminum. Could be, like I said, just DLC tie and then these are DLC and then tumbled. Not sure. But... Again, 90% sure this back cap unscrews. I haven't tried it because the clip would drag across here if I did, and I don't wanna put my tools on the clip because they're gonna sell this when they get it back. This was sent to me by Blade Runner HQ to review, and I appreciate them for that. Definitely check them out. Uh, if you pick one of these up, pick it up at Blade Runner HQ. Um, I appreciate them sending it my way. But yeah, you have a McClicky switch. It is a forward uh, clicky so you tap and choose your mode and then click down to fully select it so once you click you can't cycle anymore Does that makes sense and this is a dr jones driver i have a full programming video on that so just search my channel for dr jones programming or h17f programming um, but essentially you can set each mode to any brightness you want. You see how dim this is? It's one of the great things about the Dr. Jones driver. It allows you to get sublumen moonlights, uh, where like this is the CWF, um, dragon driver. It gives you a secondary color instead, and then you get less programming. You get pre-selected options. This is not their uh, Moonlight. This is like 5% or something. I use the secondary color as my Moonlight. This is my Moonlight, right? The blue. So it's nice and dim. doesn't bother anybody in the dark. It's nice. Um, but this one you can program fully. So I could remove this mode. I can make it so I just have one mode and then make that bright as shit or dim as hell. I can make it where I have t uh, up to seven modes. Um, so you have a lot of options. And then you have a double tap for turbo. Hi, Daddy. Hey, Breen. I want to ride my bike. Okay, can you wait five minutes? Why? Because I need to finish this video. Can you wait five minutes and then we can ride your bike? I want to play with your fidgets. Okay, you play with that. I can play with the rest of the fidgets. Uh, I don't know if I have any other ones. There's a couple over there on my desk. And you have your uh, your uh, slime or whatever. Just don't put them together, please. <laughs> so you can double tap to turbo as well. And then you can change the brightness of each of those modes. So if you wanted to, you could change this double tap to turbo to a strobe. Or you could change it to a moonlight. You could change it to whatever you want. But yeah, that's a spinner. Um, but you can change it to whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's ergonomic in the hand. I did carry it and the clip works great. It's actually a very good clip, which is hard to do on a flashlight. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, check out the beam shot footage here at the end. Check out Blade Runner HQ. I need to go hang out with my daughter and I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you latest kev here and i have the heretic knives hyperion flashlight here and uh this thing's actually pretty cool i carried it and it carries 
really well for having that big old head there, but let's check it out. So we're gonna start off with moonlight mode. And again, this is a Dr. Jones driver. Uh, they didn't tell us what the emitters were, but um, you know, I think it's a 219C or an LH351D. And uh, yeah, so let's see, that's uh, moonlight. So it is kind of a dreary, rainy night. So it's not gonna be the best example tonight, but I gotta get this done. So here's the house. It's moonlight mode. Also uh, with Dr. Jones driver, you can set the uh, brightness for each mode. So really doesn't matter. Um, you should really just know that it, you know, what the full brightness is. Cause you can go as dim as you want with this, which is nice. So here's what I would consider low, which is pretty good. Um, as you can see, obviously, uh, in real life, it's a lot less bright. It's very hard to show you. Um, but it is covering this area just a lot dimmer than, uh, what you see. There's a tree. It's getting the tree lit up just a little bit. And, uh, yeah. So here is medium and, uh, we're just getting a little bit more and it does a good job. I think, uh, the fact that it's set back into that crenulated bezel a bit actually gives it a little bit more throw. I don't know if I'm crazy, but that's what it seems like. It kind of reminds me of, um, you guys remember my video on the tie two design Pele? It kind of does the same thing, which I really like. You throw a narrow optic in there and a, a deeper bezel, and boom, you get a little bit of throw. So that is on medium, and then we're gonna go to turbo here. And this is full on turbo, and we're getting really bright now. I would say you're getting, I don't know. 12 to 1500 lumens, but I really have no idea. But if you've handled a Dr. Jones driver in a triple, you'll know what this feels like. It's a little bit cool out here, so it's not getting too hot too quick. And you do have that really thick head. Um, so she said, so it's actually gonna keep it quite cool, which is nice. Look at that, excellent. Blow up the house. Yeah, I really like this thing. Then you have a nice glow gasket in there as well. So overall, very cool flashlight considering it's from a knife company and they're not really known for this. So I got to give them big props. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Love you. Peace.